good morning students today we will uh, discuss about what is the meaning of prokaryotic and eukaryotic you know the what is the meaning of the prokaryotic you know you know the previous class we will discuss about a single cell organism and multicellular organism you know the single cell organism mean an organism made up of a single cell that is called single cell organism and multicellular means the organism is made up of many cells that is called what multicellular organism okay so the single cell organism and multicellular organism the nucleus of bacteria cells is not well organized like the cells of multicellular organisms okay the nucleus of the bacteria cells is not well organized like the cells of multicellular organism appa a single cell organism la adoda nucleus vandu is not well organized okay there is the no nuclear membrane yen karan appadina because there is the no nuclear membrane the cells having nuclear materials the cells having nuclear material without nuclear membranes is called prokaryotic cells so the prokaryotic cells mean the cells having nuclear material the cells having nuclear material without nuclear membranes is called a prokaryotic cells okay like the organism which has kinds of cells is called the prokaryotes so the prokaryotes means nothing but a prokaryotic mean the cells having nuclear membranes without nuclear membranes the cells having the nuclear material sorry nuclear material without nuclear membranes is called the prokaryotic cells example the bacteria and blue green algae okay like the cells like onion cell and six cells having the well organized nucleus with a nuclear membranes is called the eukaryotic cells is called the eukaryotic cells okay the cells like onion cells and six cells having well organized nucleus with a nuclear membranes is called the eukaryotic cells okay all organism other than bacteria and blue green algae are called eukaryotes so except all the multicellular organism it's called that eukaryotes okay va except only in the like single cell organism bacteria and blue green algae okay you means the true and carrion means nucleus okay va you means true and the eukaryotic cell ku la unmayana nucleus iruk okay va that is called that eukaryotic cells and so we are already we will discuss one activity you know like uh, we will discuss that onion cell under that microscope we will see in the onion cell under the microscope you know so definitely we have seen is a blank looking structure in the cytoplasm okay va the blank looking structure in the cytoplasm it is called vacuole it is called what vacuoles so it could be single and it big in onion cells okay so the vacuole size will be different from like plant cell to animal cells okay the naturally the plant cell having only the big size of vacuole only the plant cells only having the big size of vacuoles and animals having the small size of vacuoles okay the animals you know the large vacuoles are common in plant cell vacuole in animal cells are much smaller okay and we have noticed the several the small colored bodies in the cytoplasm okay we have you know what is the meaning of cytoplasm okay so it is a jelly like substance it is a jelly like substance where will present between that nuclear and that another one what nuclear membrane and another one what ma the nuclear membrane the and another one the plasma okay va it is a jelly like substance 
so the cytoplasm of the cells are is a truscantia leaf so they are scattered in cytoplasm of the leaf cells they are scattered in the cytoplasm of the leaf cells so they are called plastid they are called what plastids so they are the different colors they are the different colors some of them containing green pigment is called chlorophyll so some of them contain the green some of them contain the green pigment it is called what chlorophyll okay the green green color plastids okay the green colored plastids are called say, chloroplast okay well, the you know what is the main role of the chloroplast so they provide the green color in the leaves leaves green color chloroplast okay you may have recall the chlorophyll the chloroplast in learn in the essential for the photosynthesis so the green pigment is very important for plants because of a photo synthesis because of the photosynthesis okay and the next one the comparison of the plant cell and animal cells the comparison of the plant cell and animal cell you know it is a see the figure you know the figure the 8.7 you know the a you know so that is a plant cell and b1 that is a animal cells b1 is a animal cell you know so the some of the different state is there you know in and different state okay wa? the comparison of plant cell and animal cell comparison of plant cell and animal cell you know the first one the pot you know so just so the, the, it is the part of the cell what are they like the cell membrane and the cell wall okay cell membrane and cell wall and the nucleus and nuclear membrane and the cytoplasm and plastids and vacuole so these are the cell membrane so sorry this is the a part of the cell and which part is present in plant cell and animal cell you know first one the cell membrane okay the cell membrane is present in both cell like plant cell as well as animal cell the cell membrane is present in plant cell as well as animal cell itself okay and cell wall so cell wall is present only in the plant cell and absent in animal cells okay the cell wall present only in plant cell and absent in animal cell absent in animal cell and nucleus so nucleus is a very important part of the cells okay well. so the nucleus is present in plant cell as well as animal cell itself nucleus plant cell animal cells okay and the nuclear membrane so the nuclear membrane is present in plant cell as well as animal cell itself okay the nuclear membrane is present in plant cell as well as animal cell itself the cytoplasm the cytoplasm also is present in plant cell as well as animal cells okay the cytoplasm also is present in plant cell as well as animal cell and plastid so plastid is present in plant cell and absent of animal cells okay the plastid is presence of plant cell because so these plants the this plastids only is provide the uh, pigments in the plants so that's why the plastids is very important for the plant cell and the plastids is absent in animal cell okay well, absent in animal cell and vacuoles so vacuoles are present in big size in plant cells okay the vacuole is present in big size in plant cell and the vacuoles is absent maybe or the small size in animal cells animal cells le, maybe size rumbo chinna da arukum sometimes illama kuda irukla so that is the seven is a major differentiate between the plant cell as well as animal cells okay so this lesson over okay you uh, 
read well okay next you know the page number 97 given the what you have learnt you know just you read one second okay thank you students